Hello guys, I'm Jorge Garcia, I'm the director, coder and music designer in Mecha Studios. Thanks for watching this video devlog. Uh, the main idea behind the series is to let you know the styles of our development on Neon Zero Riders so you can feel safe knowing that we are working hard on creating this epic cyberpunk action adventure the best we can. Uh, I will try to be brief so you don't get bored about this uh, development process. Uh, so the first question is why in English? <laughs> well, a lot of our backers in Kickstarter are from different countries So we want to create a video that fits for everyone who is interested on following this development Also, uh, since the beginning of our campaign we uploaded videos in English and the gaming community in Latin America are pretty used to follow videos in English too. So anyway don't worry, we will be giving subtitles in Spanish for all of our videos, so everyone is covered up. Uh, now, what's happened after the Kickstarter? Uh, well, first of all, we sent uh, to our backers some questions about the rewards and the game, and we got pretty interesting feedback, especially the hilarious uh, dialogues that our backers chose uh, for their ghost rewards. And this helped us in the development process to make some decisions about the game. For example, now we know that the most loved uh, gang are the Undead Laser Ravens, uh, or that the gaming platform of choice is Steam and then PS4. So now that we know our audience better, uh, we can give you guys a better experience in the game and, the, and how to get it and stuff. Um, about the money, Unfortunately, a big part of it uh, went directly to pay the Mexican taxes and after making some maths about the expenses to fulfill uh, the rewards and to publish the game, uh, we ended up uh, with enough money to cover the equivalent of two or maybe three months of office work. So we are figuring out a way to use this money to pay the rents the food, the travel expenses, and everything we need to keep building this studio. Uh, that's why we will be opening pre-sales of Neon Zero Riders, and maybe even an online uh, merch store soon, I don't know. We will be talking about it uh, in the next videos. Uh, <coughs> about the rewards, well, <laughs> the first reward we want to talk about is the rig figuring. Uh, we have been working with our 3D modeler friend Tomas uh, to create a great rig figure, uh, kind of like an amiibo, you know. Uh, so we are now with the third version of the figure, but we are still working on it because we want it to look and feel awesome. So we will be updating more information about the figure in, in the next videos too. Uh, and the second reward, uh, as you guys know, uh, we broke some of the stretch goals in the Kickstarter campaign and one of them uh, is the webcomic series. Um, so after talking with some friends we decided to make a call for the comic artist who wishes to participate in the creation of the Neon City Riders uh, webcomic series. Uh, this way we can create together a comic book uh, collection that includes, I don't know, 15 or maybe 20 mini comics with stories about the Neon City and its inhabitants and all this to create like a lore around uh, the Neon City Riders game and at the same time we can help all these comic artists to share their work with the gaming community and give them a space to show their te techniques and styles uh, so we will be talking more about this in the next videos too uh, now <laughs> Talking about the game development, uh, we have been working this month on defining the map and the sounds of the city. Uh, since the beginning we, we knew that each gang has its own turf and each turf is kind of defined. Like for example the Undead Laser Ravens, they have like a, like a big uh, forest area with some abandoned chapels and a cemetery and stuff. Um, for example, the Audiobats, they have like an on-fire uh, district of the city and warehouses and because each gang has like a unique, um, like a unique gimmick, you know? Uh, so we have been working on it. We are currently working on the center of the map. That is the starting point of the game, also called the Neon District. 
which is like the first part you can see in the trailers, uh, the one that looks like a decaying Neo Tokyo futuristic uh, sci fi city. Um, so we did the struggle to create this part because we were kind of stuck in ideas and graphic elements, uh, you know. We invested so much time working around the Kickstarter campaign, the information, the videos and stuff that we went uh, that when we went back to the game development we felt kind of lost. Uh, so it was pretty hard to come up with the creation of the game again. Uh, luckily for us, uh, this change thanks to some cool mentorships uh, we got from pretty gr great developers and this leads us to our next point which is the events we have been this month um, last week we were on the Pixel Atl Festival in Cuernavaca, Morelos which is an event for animation, illustration, video games and so and we were selected along with another three indie studios in Mexico which are Bromeo, Enui and One Simple Game uh, to show our games at the BMX video game showroom in the festival um, and also we got some cool mentorship from three guys that helped us get back on the road of their development. Um, the first one uh, was Teddy Diff, he's a director and game designer and musician, he's currently working on Square Enix in Montreal and personally meeting him was one of my biggest achievements because he worked on Hyper Light Drifter uh, one of my favorite games ever and the main reason why I decided to create the studio and, and Neon City Riders. So getting feedback from him was very helpful and I really enjoyed watching him playing our demo at the Make a Studios booth. Uh, the second one was Liam Wong. He works as art director at Ubisoft and work on projects like Far Cry 4, Assassin's Creed and a lot more but he also is an excellent photographer and his pictures are everything Neon City Riders is about so all the feedback uh, we got from him inspired us to rework all the Neon District to make it feel more um, Neon <laughs> so we are pretty happy with the new result we were kind of stuck uh, on this I mean we worked on the Neon District like 3-4 weeks and we were happy with it but at the moment we showed uh, our demo of the Neon District to, to him I was kind of ashamed, you know, <laughs> like I was like, no, we can make this better after uh, looking at his pictures and his photographs I know we can make a better product so in any way his work inspired us to, to recreate everything and to to make a better work, um, an artwork. And, uh, well, the third guy uh, who gave us a class was Pablo Payes, uh, also called Señor Pixel. He's an old friend uh, who is a graphic designer and a musician, and he talked to us about the music in video games, at the background of the music, and, and probably we will be working together on a couple songs for, uh, for Neon City Riders. So thanks to all this experience we got back our inspiration on working in Neon City and as a coder uh, it inspired me to yesterday start uh, reworking all the enemy AI to make it more uh, intelligent. <laughs> so I think we are on a good way and we are having a good time uh, creating this adventure. So I think that will be all um, that we have been doing this month. Thanks uh, again to all our backers for the support and for helping us fund this project. Thanks you guys for watching this video and if you have any question about the development or anything uh, about Neon Zero Riders, please uh, leave your comments in this video and I will be picking uh, some questions for the next video in the next month and give them an answer on the next, on, on the next one. So I think that's everything. Thank you guys again and greetings from all the studio. Thanks.